Hi everyone. National Indigenous Peoples Day occurs on June 21st every year to celebrate the culture of First Nations, Inuit, and Métis people of Canada. I wanted to share some West Coast totem poles that we saw on our visit to Vancouver and Victoria. This is a workshop on Granville Island showing some totem poles being carved. If you're lucky, you can see the carver in action. And in Victoria, the world's tallest freestanding totem pole can be found at Beacon Hill Park. It stands 38.8 meters or 128 feet tall. It took about six months to be carved in 1956 and has been restored and repainted. Traditionally, totem poles are allowed to decay and return back to the earth. Over at the Royal British Columbia Museum, which is also in Victoria, is Thunderbird Park. It features a carved and brightly painted Northwest Coast style house, as well as numerous totem poles. The pole on the left features Thunderbird and is the third version of the pole, as the second one was damaged in a fire in 1980. As we looked around, I noticed one of the spots seemed to be a cement pad. I later read that one of the totem poles had actually been repatriated to its homelands a couple of weeks before we visited. They are usually carved from rock-resistant trees, like the western red cedar. It was neat seeing all the different animals and people carved into the poles. Each one was unique and tells a story or draws from the legends. My favorite carvings are the birds, like Thunderbird with its long outstretched wings, or other birds with long beaks. Some are located indoors, like this one inside the Empress Hotel in Victoria. Some animals occur frequently, like this flounder. These last ones are in the Vancouver Airport. If you are ever there or transiting through to another location, it's worth stopping by and having a look. If you visit British Columbia, be sure to seek out some of these incredible carvings.
as always, Chime Glitch, or thanks for watching.